Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the Tech Corner. This is Andres for the Newsreel, and this is the ongoing video series of Work Smarter, Not Harder. In this part two segment, I'll be continuing the communications coverage on the applications I've selected to use for my daily business activities and those apps that I believe that will greatly help increase the efficiency and productivity for the business professional that can relate to what I do. So in this video of communications part two, I'm gonna be talking about the BlackBerry Hub. This year, BlackBerry has made their Android applications available to a wider audience of Android devices, not just BlackBerry branded Android devices. So if you have an Android running OS version 5.0 and above, known as Lollipop, then you have access to what is called the BlackBerry Productivity Suite, which can be found on the Google Play Store. I'll leave a link to that in the video description below. I'm not gonna be going into each specific app in this video. I'm saving that for a next one where I'll, I'll highlight the suite of apps and how they all work in conjunction together and really maximize the productivity out of the Android operating system. But in this video, I will highlight the main draw of the suite of apps, and that's called the BlackBerry Hub. BlackBerry Hub is an app that aggregates all your communications, be it email, text message, phone calls, social media, and all that stuff that's compatible with the app into one place. Now, I will go over the weakness for the BlackBerry Hub. To me, it's a pretty big deal as to why I don't use it as my main email application. However, I cannot negate that BlackBerry Hub is a great way and the best way for me to view absolutely everything. So let's get into the BlackBerry Hub. For those familiar with the BlackBerry 10 OS that BlackBerry introduced several years ago, this is as close as it gets to mimicking that original one. So this is their version or their vision of the hub for Android. So you can aggregate all of your communications into one place. Not everything is compatible with them, but everything that is, you can funnel here, like BBM, your emails, your Facebook, Twitter accounts, etc. And you do have swipe actions left or right, which you can customize. In this case, there's snooze and delete. From the top down, you can filter out your views as to what you have. So you got a ton of messages. You can quickly get to what you wanna see. I just wanna see what I just snoozed and immediately it'll pull it up. That's what makes this so functional that you can see what you need to see as quickly as possible. And no one has been able to match BlackBerry on this. Now where BlackBerry Hub goes even further, for those rich text formatting junkies, this is a big deal because BlackBerry Hub allows you to completely text format your email on a mobile device. Bold, italicized, underlined, the size of the text, type of text, fonts, the color. You can handle all of that through this platform, which makes it all the more attractive for those of us that want to email from our phones, but not look like we're emailing from our phones. We want our clients to think that we're emailing from our computer, not receiving an email that says sent from my iPhone or sent from my mobile device because some people don't really like that. Now you can also insert quick responses because you have preset messages which you can also customize on the BlackBerry Hub. So if you have a preset response in one, two, three hits, boom, you just reply to an email. And speaking about writing an email, when you go to the composition window, you get the top five most contacted suggestions at the top. And if you click on one, say an email, it'll send from the default email address that you've selected, which you can also change later. But the composition window also, again, aggregates every account that is available on your device that is compatible with the hub. You can compose or manage or whatever from there. The only problem is that there is some functionality that is not completely baked in. For example, my real estate Twitter, and instead it saw that my newsreel Twitter was open on a Twitter app, so it, I still had to manually switch it later, kind of defeating the purpose of why it, I selected it on the hub in the first place, but at any rate, it still is a quick solution to at least get to the app instead of going to open the app, go to compose, and then try to write a text, right? So it is faster through the hub. Now, under the general settings, you'll be able to find a lot more things that what you can do with the hub. For example, some pinch action. What is the pinch action? When you go to the main hub, you have a view, and then if you pinch, the view that you selected, in my case, unread emails, it'll just show me the unread emails. And speaking of emails, you can color code any account and any color that is available on the BlackBerry Hub, which is pretty cool because it's another way for you to know what you're looking at. 
And if you have events that you want to look at, but you don't want to open the calendar or you don't want to leave the hub, you can take a peek to the next events coming up. Now, you can also open the default calendar from there as well, but you don't have to. You can just take a peek. Speaking of taking peeks or looking at stuff, the search function on this is amazing. Universal search where you can literally select all your accounts or select accounts to find what you're looking for. So you can also select what's called attributes, such as did you flag anything? Do you have attachments? Do you have high important emails? You can filter those out only so you can find what you're looking for even faster. You could even select terms like do you want to look at the to or from? Is it a CC? Is it a subject? Is it in the body? Whatever it is, this search functions, it's all there, which makes it very impressive as to all the robust features that the BlackBerry Hub brings to the table. Now, if you have emails on your hub and on your server, you can choose to delete them from your phone only or from their phone and the server. So that's all up to you. And remember the, what I mentioned about the swipes, the gestures on the main hub, you can choose what you want them to do. By default, they're set to snooze and delete, but you can select however you swipe to the left or to the right, you can choose what those functions are. So you, if you play around with the general settings, you will find a lot of interesting things here that you can do with this. So if you're really into email, like you use Outlook on the desktop and such, you'll find a lot of great features here that you'll also find on any desktop solution. What I do, I color code my applications or my text messages and my emails because I, I'm very responsive to color and I do that for any application that I do use that handles a lot of different accounts of mine because while running three different companies and also having personal stuff, I gotta be able to keep it in line. I don't wanna send a business email to a personal and I don't wanna send an email that's, I'm, that's meant for my wife also to a client. So I want to keep those under wraps. But what if you don't want to see everything? You can create a view within the hub and select what you want to select to include in that view. I have one additional view besides just the BlackBerry hub. I have one that's for work. I just created one for social. So I can highlight all my social media apps into one view here, which you can then select, which is also pretty cool that if you use a widget or in the case of the BlackBerry launcher, you have pop-up widgets, you can select which of those views you want to appear on your widget. The BlackBerry Hub suite of apps is available as a free trial on the Google Play Store. After a trial period, then it goes into $1 a month. It's a no-brainer. I paid a dollar a month because you get a ton of other apps included with the price, not just the hub. But if you don't choose to subscribe, it's okay. You can still use some of the apps, particularly the BlackBerry Hub, with some ads in there, like a banner here or there. But nothing too intrusive and such. It's just that if you don't want to see ads, a dollar a month gets rid of them and you get a lot more apps for the buck. But why don't I use it as my main uh, email app is because I really depend on my logos. And unfortunately, the logos cannot be put into the signatures of the emails. You can put hyperlinks, but you cannot add the logo as of right now. Unfortunately, Newton email does, which is why I mostly email from there. But my number one solution to manage all of my communication is the BlackBerry Hub, and they both go in tandem. What do you think about these video series? I have more videos planned, and this is it for my communications segment. I'm gonna go into productivity in the next section. Please, you have any suggestions, I'm open to them, and you can leave it in the comments down below. So thank you very much for watching this video. Subscribe to stay in the know. I got more videos on these series coming up, and tutorials for other software things that are not exactly related to productivity, and also, revisiting some devices one year later because to me they become all the more important now that i've had to let go of my precious note 7 and more on that in the next video thanks again so much for watching i'm andres for the newsreel signing out